Hello and welcome to a new vault log. Some of you probably know this product from the previous uh, in the mail uh, video. That is if you are subscribed to my channel. And if you're not subscribed, I encourage you to do so. Anyway, I showed this uh, wall socket with dual USB charging ports. And uh, I got it from eBay quite uh, cheap. It, I think it was under $4 with uh, free shipping. And I suspect it, it suffers from um, a common problem found with these uh, uh, products coming from China. They simply have um, a really cheap uh, AC to DC converter to power those uh, USB um, ports and it regulates poorly the output voltage or the output current and um, I think it also has a lot of ripple so not exactly what you would want to charge your high-end expensive device. So first let's use this uh, USB power monitor and see if I can get uh, this to charge my external power bank which should pull about 2 amps. And that should be within the limits of these uh, charging ports uh, which are rated for uh, 2.1 amps. Let's see what are we getting. So right now the external power bank is pulling 1.85 amps. That's about uh, really close to 10 watts. 9.5 watts actually and the voltage seems to be around 5.1 volts so it seems uh, right I don't see anything wrong with that of course there will be a lot of uh, ripple because that is just a very small converter with minimal filtering but it will be fine for uh, one of these uh, power banks as for a high-end smartphone or tablet I don't know you might uh, experience things like uh, signal loss on your Wi-Fi connection or maybe uh, the audio uh, might suffer uh, in quality. For my next test I'm going to use this uh, dummy load with this uh, four wire measurement uh, harness that I made. I'm using this uh, USB plug that was uh, shown in a previous uh, in the mail uh, episode. I will put a link to this uh, product in the description below if you're interested in uh, easily connecting to USB plugs. First, let's supply power to the dummy load. Now let's connect this. Okay, so we're seeing uh, 5.4 uh, volts right now. Let's uh, double check this uh, this measurement with uh, my Fluke 87. So I have my Fluke 87. These two ports are probably wired in parallel so I'm just going to measure the voltage on this second port. So yeah we're seeing uh, 5.4 volts. So the voltage measurement on the dummy load is quite accurate. We don't need the uh, multimeter any anymore. So I've been playing with this uh, before recording this video and I noticed that up to 1.85 amps uh, it's okay and I'm going to start this to show you. Okay so it's pulling 1.85 amps. The voltage however uh, rises to 5.6 volts. So I don't think that's okay uh, as far as I, I, I can remember the USB uh, electrical specifications say that uh, the voltage should be minus uh, 0 0.4 volts or plus 0 0.25 volts. So we're about uh, 350 millivolts above the USB specs. I mean uh, a power bank might tolerate that but I don't know what to say about other uh, sensitive uh, USB products. So I'm going to stop this because the heatsink is getting uh, warm quite uh, uh, quickly without uh, a fan. And now let's increase the, the current and you'll see what happens if I go to 1.9 amps. Okay, so now we're set for 1.9 amps and uh, I have set uh, my um, cutoff voltage to be 4.6 volts 
because that is practically the USB specification. Uh, if, if the voltage should not be lower than uh, um, 4.6 volts to be compliant with the USB standard. So let's start the dummy load now. As you can see, it's switching between the cutoff voltage and uh, it's, it's not able to pull that 1.9 amps that we are uh, requesting from the power supply. So um, let's lower this uh, cutoff voltage. Let's say 3.6 volts and start the dummy load again. That's not working either. Just the, the voltage si simply drops too low when I start the uh, dummy load at 1.9 amps and it uh, immediately cuts off. Let's go to 0.6 volts and see if we, that way we can get 1.9 amps out of this power supply. No, it doesn't work. It just cut off immediately. So I think the uh, I think it's safe to say that the maximum these uh, charging ports are going to be supplying is 1.85 amps. And well, that might be okay for some uh, products that only charge at uh, let's say maximum 1.5 amps. Uh, it's not okay because it will run close to its maximum rating and believe me this small converter will get very hot in fact i can feel it uh, very warm right now just after a few tests so really i think this this thing should only be labeled to go up to one amp because anything above that i think it's stretching the limits of the small converter in here next i would like to do a teardown and take a closer look at this uh, converter that is used to supply the usb charging ports it looks like the face plate comes off first. Okay, so now we have access to the charging port and we can see a couple of uh, uh, wires being soldered directly to the AC terminals. Now this looks very familiar and I think I've seen something similar to this on, on eBay being sold. So let me just uh, disconnect these wires. So a couple of words about the construction of this uh, converter. We have an input fuse protection, then a bridge diode. So we get uh, no uh, X uh, capacitor for filtering. We get no choke, no inductor, no nothing. So that's basically the input section. This is the control section with the um, uh, with this uh, IC that has its numbers rubbed off. And this most certainly contains an integrated uh, transistor for switching these uh, transformer coils. On the output, we're seeing a diode, which seems like it could handle the current, and a couple of um, uh, cap 10 microfarads uh, capacitors, one for each of the uh, USB ports. Yeah, and as expected, these two USB ports are wired in parallel. And the uh, data pins are shorted together. Uh, I believe that is the uh, standard for uh, providing maximum current over the USB ports. And not much else in here. I mean, uh, there is an extra 470 microfarads capacitor right in the middle. Just, uh, I think this one acts as a storage capacitor and shares, uh, and that, and this one is shared between the two ports. But I don't know, it kind of looks like uh, one of those um, cheap uh, death wrap uh, chargers from, from China. So the protection is minimum on this thing. I mean, just look at the clearance right here. We get uh, two, maybe three millimeters between the uh, AC coming in and the ground of the USB connection. So I wouldn't want to go anywhere near these ports when they're uh, live, knowing this uh, short distance between the AC input and the uh, USB connector ground. This is just uh, too much of a risk for electric shock. So to wrap this up and give you a conclusion, 
I would advise against uh, using this kind of uh, wall sockets from, from eBay because they just pose an electrical shock risk for you and for your family that's going to be going uh, near these ports. So it's better to stay away from them. Maybe get some that are manufactured by uh, like a, a known brand that has the proper certifications. That way I, I think those are much safer to use. Although I haven't taken apart one so far, but I'm sure that a proper uh, brand name wall socket will have the uh, will have a proper design power supply inside with the required safety certifications. So that was all for today. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.